Good morning, Titans. I'm Austin Shaw. I'm Kaya Dove. And I'm Isaiah Torres, and we're here with a part one of our special end to the year top five show. In this show, we will be counting down the top five of just about everything. That's right, including the top five events here that happened at the Berea City School District. It's been a great year. It sure has. What was your favorite thing that happened this year? Uh, mainly baseball uh, over the summer and even during the spring. Uh, you know, and joining this class. This class is really fun. Yeah, I, I agree. Definitely one of my favorite parts of this year. What about you? I enjoy this class, but I also have to say my senior year marching and being the tuba chief, it's, it was special for me. Yay! That's nice. That's Yay! Nice. All right, let's start off with the number five event here at Berea. For our number five event, Rocktoberfest. Rocktoberfest took place this fall in our beautiful BMHS Auditorium. String players in grades 6 through 12 were joined by local professional musicianists to perform some classics. The group performed music by The Queen, Led Zeppelin, Green Day, Lennon and McCartney, Journey, The Rolling Stones, and even Lady Gaga. It was a wonderful presentation of acoustic and electric instruments directed by our fabulous orchestra director, Miss Cheshire. Sounds like a great event with great music. That makes me think, we can't have a top five show without the top five songs of the year. I know, that's right. Who do you think made the list? Taylor Swift, hands down. Yes. I agree. Yes. Uh, Taylor. I think uh, um, Harry Styles, probably. Yeah, probably, or, or, definitely. Or Bad Bunny. Yeah, definitely. Bad Bunny, Puerto Rican, not Puerto Rican, so. Okay. Obviously, <laughs> Bad Bunny. <laughs> All right, well, let's check out the top five songs of 2022 created by Hudson Devins. Those were all great hits of 2022. We also have the top five funk Evan, uh, songs by Evan in our top five playlist. Check it out on our YouTube channel. Now, number four event here at BMHS, the Rain Garden Project Conservation. Minded Kids created a rain garden at our very own Grindstone Elementary School. Fourth grade students installed a large rain garden to protect the Lake Erie watershed. Students enrolled in the Co Lake Outdoor Science Education class, AP Environmental Science, and the Nature Club led the younger kids in placing a variety of native plants into a newly mulched pot of ground in the front of the school. The Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District and the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration partnered with the Berea City Schools by providing a grant for gardening tools and plants. What a great experience. Speaking of nature and a garden, just for fun, what do you think the top fruits sold of 2022 were? My guess has got to be strawberries. I'd I mean, say raspberries. I love raspberries. I highly raspberries. doubt it's going to be raspberries. I'm sorry. Strawberries or oranges. Oh, raspberries are so good. Okay, well, raspberries are good, but I think it's apples, personally. Strawberries or oranges, I'll say that. <laughs> well, here's a video by Phoenix and Griffin showing just what fruits made the top of the list. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy fruit salad. Let's make some fruit salad today. Oh, oh, oh. it's fun. To Who doesn't love a banana? I don't, weirdo. <laughs> well, I know we have tons of gamers out there. Here are the top five games of 2022 created by me. PlayStation 
Hey Titans, here are the top 5 video games of this year. At number 5 is Xenoblade Chronicles 3. This is an RPG game created by Nintendo for the Switch. The game received praise for its new and improved combat system and its beautiful graphics despite some limitations. Never heard of the franchise, but it seems pretty solid. Before we have Stray, you play as an adorable cat who is trying to find a way back home after ending up in a decaying cyber city. You solve many different puzzles and this game was highly anticipated since the announcement from June 2020 at PlayStation's Future of Gaming event. The game topped Steam's wishlist charts before release. In July, it became the most downloaded PlayStation 5 game and the most downloaded PlayStation 4 game in North America. Now for our top 3. Coming in at number 3 is Horizon Forbidden West. The game is a sequel to 2017's Horizon Zero Dawn. The game is set in a post-apocalyptic version of the western United States recovering from the aftermath of an extinction event caused by a robot storm. Many critics praise the game's larger setting compared to the first. One critic says that it was a successful open world game and that it continues the achievements of its predecessor and it seeks to improve everything upon the way. Now coming in at number two, and what I thought I was personally expecting to win, is God of War Ragnarok. This action-adventure game received universal acclaim from critics and it was praised for storytelling, characters, visuals, and overall improvements to the gameplay over its previous installment. It won Game of the Year at the Titanium Awards and was a nominee for the same award at the Game Awards 2022, where it won Best Narrative, and Such Adventure, and among, and among other awards and nominations. The game was a commercial success, selling 5.1 million units in its first week becoming the fastest selling first party game in PlayStation history. And for number one, Elden Ring. The game has been both loved and criticized for its difficulty and its lack of easier modes, but despite those slight critiques, Elden Ring received widespread critical acclaim for its open world, gameplay systems, and settings. The game won several awards including multiple Game of the Year's honors and has sold more than 17.5 million copies by October 2022, making it the most popular game this year. Those were some great games. If you are a fan of Xbox One games, uh, check out Shane, Jason, and Dom's picks for the top five games posted now on our YouTube channel. PlayStation is better. Okay, but what about sports? Here are top five times athletics here at BMHS. At number five, our volleyball team secures 3-1 victory over at Lakewood in the OHSAA playoffs. The win was led by a great all-around performance by Lauren Lantau. The sophomore captain had 17 kills and two assists offensively to go with her 29 digs and three blocks. Number four, our, vars our varsity boys soccer team had four straight victories after a 5-2 upset over at Avon Lake. Goals were scored by Adam Ahmed, Damis Armstrong, Jason DeMarco, and Noah Sandel, who scored twice. Number three, our boys golf team wins first inaugural Titan Invitational. The team captured the tournament title by a whopping 28 strokes over at second place. The Titans set a new team record, 18 holes scored with their 30, 336 to claim the Invitational crown. Number two, Brooke Bechtel qualifies for OHSAA State Cross Country Tournament. Brooke had an excellent season, also being named first team All-SWC. And she was named Academic All-Ohio. Brooke represents being a Titan on the course and in the classroom. And for number one athletic event, our girl wrestling team kicks off its inaugural season. It was a historic day for our team as the girls kicked off the first year as a varsity sport in the Lady Arts Invitational. Madison Kubicki earned Berea Mid Park its first invitational win in girls wrestling, as well as the first pin. The sophomore was 3-2 on the day and finished third in the 135 pound weight class. Now to wrap up part one of our top five, here are top five TV shows by Renee. After this video, you'll have a whole new crew on camera. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 2022 was wild, and I don't mean it in a quote unquote Pretty girl talk to some cute guy over the summer type situation. Have you ever wondered how one fixes prejudice? Well, this show is for you. On number five is Attack on Titan. Don't we all love some good old high school drama? Which is why Euphoria places top four on the list.
up next to the top three is the Jeffrey Dahmer story, in which we see the life of Jeffrey Dahmer, who is played by Evan Peters. The show's discourse on the internet didn't stop it from being one of the most watched. And number two, that should be self-explanatory. I don't have to explain that. Placing on top one, a new Netflix show that surpassed Stranger Things is Wednesday, a horror comedy show where she solves a mystery that surrounds the Nevermore Academy. The show being on top one is not surprising. I wonder what 2023 would be like. Will it be interesting? Will it be calm? Or will he finally make a move on that pretty girl? We will never know. Well, that concludes the top five TV shows of 2022. I hope you had a great 2022, just like I did. You already know what's up with it. I know I be talking. Yeah, that just me. I want some, want some. Why you moving slow? You just need to text back quick and consistency. Yeah. Boy, I Hey Titans, let's kick off the second half of the show. I'm Renee. I'm Griffin. And I'm Ozzy. Let's get right back into things with our number three event here at BCSD. The first spring musical in our beautiful new auditorium, Mary Poppins. The cast and crew put on quite the show with Sylvia Borderlos and Audrey Pierre as Mary Poppins and Jackson Johncock as Bert. The show was a huge success with students singing, dancing, and flying across stage performance this classic story. Mary Poppins was a great movie too. It was. We also had some great movies come out in 2022. Here's our next top five video created by Bailey and Jaden. You seriously think a puny little child can be a villain? Yes, I, I am pretty despicable. You don't want to cross me. <laughs> come back when you've done something evil to impress me. Why do they always have to go bigger? broken people. is inevitable, Maverick. You're kind of headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. I just really loved uh, Jurassic Park Dominion. It was such a great movie. So we've had the top five songs of the year, and now we need the top five music artists. Here's a stop motion created by Jack and me. Two. 
music is such a great part of life. Back to our top five events here at Berea. Here's our number two event, the PTSA rally in the Alley Pinkout. This event is run by our fabulous PTSA and has become a tradition here at BMHS. Families loaded the front, front parking lot for food trucks, face paintings, inflatables, and performances by our cheerleaders and our infamous March Band Drumline. This event was a huge success and it showed what it really means to be a Titan. Can't wait for next year's rally in the alley. Well, can you, you really have a top five end of the year show without the top five TikTok trends? The app that took over your phones in 2020 continues to grow. We even made a few videos and started our official TikTok this past spring. Let's check out the top five TikTok trends of 2022. She talking it, she ain't trying it. He keep calling me crying, bitch. Dance how you kill this. I understood the assignment. I understood the assignment. I have rapped in a program I did, a Weird Weekends episode about rap. Can you remember any of the rap that you did? My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. like about corn? It's cold! A big long bit knob, it has the juice! Honestly, I really love the Glorilla Dance TikTok trend. What were your favorites this year? Uh, I really like the one thing about me trend. <laughs> I really, <laughs> I don't know, I really like the when I was a baby trend. Me when I was a baby. I haven't. I never saw that one. Really? Too. I no. It's the no. one with the goblin dude. And he like flies around. Okay. <laughs> okay. But we just have enough time to tell you for our number one event for the 2022 school. Can we have a drum roll, please? And our number one event was Cleveland Browns and Safety Grant Delpit hosted a gym class takeover at Big Creek Elementary School in unison with the Nike Youth Football Captain Program. Grant and Chomps re represent the Cleveland Browns with a great day of fun with football activities and obstacle courses for the students. Each student participating earned a Dog Pound Gym Class Takeover t-shirt. This was truly a memorable event. Well, I think we've covered just about everything of top five things. 2022 was truly a great year. It really was. What was your best memory mostly just hanging out with my friends like jack matt ren mine would definitely be before thanksgiving break i don't remember where exactly i was it was like probably in the ele elevator or whatever but I, all i remember is like the feeling of excitement i think mine was homecoming oh nice yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> from the titan studio staff we wish everyone a safe and relaxing winter break Happy Holidays! And a fantastic New Year! We look forward to seeing what 2023 brings. <laughs> we'll end the show with some funny bloopers of the year. Remember what it means to be a Titan. Be respectful, responsible, and safe. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs>forward to christmas personally me too christmas and not being here Most definitely. now please stand for the morning announcement er. <laughs> <laughs> i can't count that fast joel please eat mrs carveron and uh, <laughs> 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 uh, hey, the code to purchase tickets titan no. titans go <laughs> december 1st Oh, I'm sorry. Happy <laughs> December. Here with your today's TSP. Oh my God, dude. On the dates. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here with your TSP. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Getty at the informational picture below. Well, that's all for the announcements today we have for you. We have for you today.
I'm Logan here with your T. Okay, reset. Dude, you, you, you passed. You passed.